Nick Nelson, Mad Scientist of Muscle, and what we've got for you today here is a killer lower body exercise. This is a two bench elevated hip belt split squat. Now, it sounds like there's a lot of moving parts to it. Once you kind of get the concept, it's really not all that complicated. What you're going to need here is two benches. So I've got one set up here and the other perpendicular to it. You can see I've got this set inside the rack. This is on purpose because as you're doing this, I actually recommend you have a bar inside the rack or a Smith machine bar that you can grab onto in front of you for support and for holding onto, for balancing, for all that. For, and as you get into heavier loads, assisting and getting up into the top of the uh, start position. So what you're gonna do here is get plates. I've got uh, two 45s and two 35s here. So whatever that works up to, 160 pounds. And then loop it through using your dip belt. Now, what you're gonna do here is actually turn your dip belt about 90 degrees to one side. So normally when you're doing dips, obviously, the weight, weight is hanging between your legs like that. In this case, it's actually going to be over on one side because you're gonna be doing a split squat. So you loop it through, you stand up, get your back leg on the bench, just like a regular split squat, but not on the floor. Because you're elevated, the, bank, the uh, plates are gonna be able to hang down and uh, go a lot further, so you can get a full range of motion. You're holding on here with your hands, you're coming all the way down until basically these uh, plates are gonna just lightly graze the floor. And you can see I've got a really good bend here in the knee and in the hips. Then you're gonna come back up. Now, start lighter than this. Get some practice with it. Do one leg, rotate that belt 90 to 180 degrees back in the other direction and then set up with your right foot on the front bench, your left foot on the back bench. Then you're gonna do the same thing. Foot on the front bench, stand up, get your back leg in position. Now, the beauty about also holding onto a bench uh, bar in front of you is if you tend to uh, push too much that way with the back leg and you tend to slide this bench, you're gonna be holding on here. So you still got three good points of contact for balance and if the bench slides out too far, then you just end the set pause it and put the bench back in position. So this uh, serves a couple of different purposes. Here's what it looks like. I'll give you a demo here with the full load. So that's the exercise. Now you can also do this with lighter weight and for higher reps as well to really burn out the quads 
and the glutes and somewhat the hamstrings. Now, one thing you may or may not notice with this, depending on your hip belt, is that the chain or the rope kind of digs in kind of on the inner hip area. Um, if you want to, you can also put a towel in, in that area for padding. As you're doing it, that's going to make it a lot more comfortable. Um, I didn't find that an issue with mine because uh, mine from Dark Iron Fitness has more of a nylon strap instead of a chain. So something to be aware of if you're doing this. Now, bottom line, you don't really necessarily even need to use weight when you're doing this one if you want to uh, elevate yourself and get a full range of motion just with a regular split squat holding a dumbbell for example you can use this exact setup holding on to this bar setting your foot here holding a dumbbell in this hand for example and coming all the way down now you can move this in closer and then this back knee as you can see goes up below the level of the bench whereas normally if you were on the floor it would stop here so by using two benches and elevating both legs, you can get a very full range of motion. And it's a fantastic way to get a full range of motion without uh, a lower back stress caused by excessive leaning over, like if you're doing regular back squat, for example. So that is a uh, two bench elevated hip belt split squat.